All right, Mardenisha, <clears throat> Mardin right? Jasmine, <clears throat> sorry. Okay, go to your district portal and make sure you go to Math Nation. Okay, it'll look like this. You want to go into Section 7 because we're doing trigonometric in Section 7. Now, over on the left, these are all of the topics. Topic 1, Topic 2, Topic 3, Topic 4. All right. If you're having any trouble with this section at all, I highly suggest going back and hitting up these videos. All right. Um, if you want to start exactly where we started our homework this uh, sec uh, third quarter, we're going into lesson three and you click on the lesson. It'll open it up. And these are the different videos you'll watch. At the bottom here, you'll see the stepping stone and the check your understanding questions. Okay, so when you go in, if I asked you to do the whole lesson, including the warm up, you would go into here, click it. You want to go over to the side, and there's the warm up question. Okay, this what do you wonder, what do you notice, all of those are the actual responses that you write in your book. You do not have to um, write them on the computer because you have a book to write them in. At the top of every section, you're going to see a video. So when you look at the question, say, hey, what do you wonder? Answer it. What do you wonder? What do you notice? And then when you're done, you can click the video and see what they have to say. All right. Now, these are all the people that are available. If you notice, Trevor is a little bit more detailed and you guys really need Trevor. LJ, he goes way too fast and leaves all the important information out. And Jose does the same thing. He leaves a lot of important information out. So Trevor is going to take a little bit longer to explain the videos, but he gives a whole lot better um, answer and description. So I would select him and then your video will start to play. Notice this is one minute and 31 seconds long and it'll go over the warm up with you. Okay. All right. So I'm not going to listen to him anymore. If you scroll down, it'll go just through the book exactly like we have in class 73.2. Notice again, here's the video and it's saying, hey, we got an angle measure of 10, the sine, the cosine. And if you take sine and divide it by cosine, you're going to find out that you get tangent. But this is the whole section is titled Defining Tangent. So they're trying to show you and make connections. If you put in your calculator 10 degrees and hit sine, you get this number. If you put in your calculator 10 and hit cosine, you get this number. If you put in 10 in your calculator and hit tangent, you're going to get this number. And if you end up taking these two numbers and dividing them sine over cosine, you'll end up with the number that is tangent. So they're trying to get you to make a connection between what is sine, what is cosine, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. Anyways, so you go through. All of these blanks are what you're writing in your workbook. Okay. Then they'll work through an example. And again, these are all on the video. 
So you can't get the note taking wrong. You just need to listen for understanding and write it down. Here's the next section. Here's the next video. You're going to go through the entire thing. And at the bottom, they have a wrap up question that you can try to answer on your own. Notice they don't have a video for that because they're wanting to see if you understand it. Kind of like a exit ticket out the door. And here's those three stepping stone questions and check your understanding questions. And you click start. And it'll give you the questions. When you're done, if you don't get them right, you're allowed to try them again. Okay. Sometimes seeing the answers will help you to understand how to get to the correct answer. Down here, what is the ratio? Ratio means what is the fraction of tangent of angle W. So according to angle W, okay, we want to be able to find the tangent, which is opposite over adjacent. So TM over MW, TM over MW, and then you go on to the next one. Identify each ratio as a fraction. And again, you're going to put in the letters because they're, you don't have any numbers. So the ratio is opposite over hypotenuse. So according to K, opposite over hypotenuse, MR over MK. And you type it in. But you don't have to type, or yeah, on the stepping stones, you have to type them in. All right. All right. There's three questions there, and then there will be three questions here. I hope that helps. Again, go into Math Nation. Go into Section 7, and then go down to your topics. Open it up using the arrow. And here you 